Hi, in this video, we are going to uh, look at the different uh, functions and workflow for program tool uh, for my like I developed it according to my workflow uh, mostly for character modeling but uh, you can use it for uh, assets too if you choose so and as far as the workflow in this video it may be or may not be match with your uh, work style of workflow but I'm sure uh, you will enjoy it uh, the program tool is going to cut out some repetitive tasks while character modeling in Maya specifically the head modeling and texturing part the basic idea behind this tool is to plug multiple reference images and import back to Maya as a single image plane. Adding to that, we can able to save multiple camera angles as cam shots and finally baking out color and alpha maps of projected images from multiple angles. Uh, first thing first, let's install the script. Uh, along with the downloads, you will get a uh, RAR file called ProCam Tool for Maya. Uh, unzip it, you will get four folders, scripts, images, icons and documents. The script folder contains two uh, script files. One is .procam.utility.py and uh, create self button procam.mel. Copy the procamutility.py and paste into the my documents. Inside that you will get a Maya folder. Another folder is there called scripts and paste it there. Okay. Second, uh, you have to copy procam icon.png from the icon folder and paste into the references icon folder. After that, relaunch Maya and open the folder location where you can get a document folder if you double click the document file just copy this uh, three lines and paste it there at python tab of uh, a script editor and just copy it drag and drop it to the self editor where you want to place it right mouse click edit and you can assign a icon so here is the icon image name it procam so let's start with the program tool before uh, executing the program tool we have to collect our reference images into a in a folder so i created a folder called ref images you can uh, it can be any name but it should be alphanumeric so i'm going to uh, copy and paste all my images here but before that you have to align reference images which you are going to use in program i will show you the procedure for how to align the images for that you have to go for program tool folder where you will find a folder called images and uh, in that images folder you will get two images there it's in jpeg format open any one of the image uh, in photoshop it has already been opened in photoshop so I, I just want to show you the size of the image it is 3k by 4k what you have to do is align your photographs or uh, the uh, reference images and properly aligned uh, into this frame i will show you so this is the frame which i made and uh, if i like import it here it has been already been aligned to align something like this it is so because all the images will be same size with proper namespace as these namespace will be used to create snapshot in an order like you can see here i have collected my reference images in a folder and i purposely named it in a alphabetical order like a front back l side r side and so on when i'm going to use this uh, image to load in a program it will be according to this order only as now all been set now we are ready to import all of our reference images via procam it can be any n number of images currently i am using only uh, five images you can see it here all the images are in jpg format currently the procam supports only jpg format so let's start with the procam tool click on the shelf button it will ask the browse for reference folder location so here is the shortcut i made for it here and uh, this is the reference images where my all my images are there so once you click on the reference image folder uh, the same name will be reflected here so make sure about it so select the folder once you select the folder it will ask uh, wait for a while till the images got loaded so press on ok you will see it here it is automatically it will create two folders and it will generate those uh, images in the order all the images being loaded you will see two folders optimized and thumbnails optimized folder will contain the images uh, which is optimized for the viewport and the thumbnail the, uh, folder will contain all thumbnail icons uh, if you uh, preview it it will be like thumbnail size so it is for just for uh, your ui purpose it will generate these two folders onto the same location where you have copied and pasted the uh, reference images during the first time of the ui loading it will take time it has to generate uh, the folders along with the images but if you are loading into the second time it will be fa much faster compared to the first one i will show you how it is taking a new scene um, reference images already these folders are there and just select see it's fast as you can see the images are loaded in the order 
according to the namings so that's why the uh, naming of the images are very important so keep it in mind i want to add one more point to this is to you have to pre-plan about the number of images you are going to use before executing the program let's discuss what's there in the ui or all these buttons are uh, these are all divided into five parts is initialization camera control camera view save cam shots before saving texture projection and baking the first one is initialization this you can use to uh, assign in the projection shader to your mesh and uh, just click the uh, select the mesh and click on it it will assign the projection shader over that the second one is camera control where you can control uh, the aperture value of the pro cam and uh, you can adjust the uh, focal length via um, and the same thing you can do it from the attributes so i will show you when i, I will do it practically let's look at the outliner window and let's check what are the different no program nodes are present in your scene the scene is populated with the three nodes only procam group temp cam projection group and camera the camera will have a image plane where all the images are going to projected through it let's start with the camera view and all is all its options you will get a lt checkbox and it is being used to switch between the camera and the perspective uh, like the in the panels like look through selected you will get an opacity slider if you click any image then you can see the image plane is ready to project uh, the image uh, so you can use this opacity slider to control the opacity of the image and this is called shape cam shot uh, you can align your camera you can position your camera and if you click on this save cam shot this the camera transform values the focal length and the aperture is going to save so I will explain you with an example how it works. Uh, I will import a base head. I will select the base head and adjust the camera according to the references I collected. So for this I will uh, click on LT look through button frame the mesh. To demonstration purpose I am roughly adjusting the position of the mesh and uh, click on save cam shot it will store the camera position. save again profile and if you can see it you can't align it uh, align the mesh according to the image so for that you have to use camera tools here you can get tumble roll and all those options use it like roll yeah you can roll it properly just roughly save cam shot and if i click on these images so you can see I can switch to switch to any camera position I will show you another cool option select the uh, model initialization and assign shader go to the texture mode you will see front camera is projecting to uh, the mesh and if you click on the profile image uh, sorry it will not updating the so you once you have to go for just reload it so next time when you click on these images it will automatically going to it so this is the back front image profile and so on now start modeling the part so go to the front and look through use the backslash to zoom in and out I will adjust I'm roughly adjusting the uh, face landmarks according to the image, according to the re reference image to give you a basic idea. I have taken little time to uh, adjust my camera so that uh, it can uh, match roughly with the reference image so I can go to perspective uh, and in the texture right flat so I can do the modeling here also 
here in the perspective actually i am a perspective modeler i'll slowly adjust the loops So by this example, you can get a basic idea like uh, how to adjust uh, uh, the snap cam snapshots and uh, adjust the image plane so as to roughly match with the uh, with the image and start modeling. And uh, you can tweak in the in the middle also in the middle of the modeling. You can tweak uh, the camera shots. Just I'm matching it. It's a low poly uh, mesh, so not enough lines but the image plane has done pretty good job I'm pausing the video so I will show you like uh, to look through and uh, the backslash just zoom out you can see roughly I adjusted the image uh, sorry uh, and, uh, some tweakings are there So now I hope uh, you are familiar with the camera view and the, uh, these buttons and what are the use of save cam shot and how to do modeling in perspective and also in the look through mode how the opacity is control is going to help you as it is not a modeling part so I will not show you the complete head modeling <laughs> uh, but I will make a, a video complete uh, head modeling video in future next important thing I am going to talk you about the camera snapshots you have created right uh, the front and all those so if you want to save this all the camera snapshots uh, if you uh, close your file and you want to save your uh, uh, cam shots that can be possible with the current version of ProCam tool uh, 1.0 but I want to tell you one thing that you can't save camera projection snapshot with the current version but in the future version I will add this feature in, uh, into it I will tell you the procedure how to save the cam shot even if you close your Maya scene file so what you have to do is like go to clean ProCam nodes if you click it here so the projection shader which is assigned to the uh, uh, to the mesh is been deleted and all the nodes program nodes is deleted select your mesh and uh, you can give it a lambert one or whatever and now save your file just close this uh, program window and uh, save scene as and just overwrite it okay so now close your file and next time when you uh, relaunch the maya and open your file first then go to ProCam tool load the images folder okay fine so now if you see go to the look through if you can see all the cam shots are intact with the file and uh, select the model and assign the shader go to the texture mode the shader is assigned and see again you have to reload it that's a bug but I will fix it in the next version uh, okay fine so by this feature you can save the uh, cam shots and you can uh, retain it back before moving to the next feature I want to share you one more option so if you uh, click on any cam shots and uh, go to the look through mode and select the camera you can find a focal length and a camera aperture values here these are the same options which you can find it in the camera control and you can set the value here uh, I purposely set 60 as a focal length so as to properly align uh, the reference images okay so uh, you can set like any value like 50 I am uh, 50 I am sending and you can see uh, it is going to update here and you can set uh, this camera aperture value and this is automatically going to set these values see okay so you can save this uh, according to your requirement 
to match the reference images properly with the mesh or uh, vice versa now we will discuss the second most important part of the uh, of the uh, ui and that will be texture projection and baking <laughs> the most important part well uh, first thing you have to select the geometry i'm going to perspective view okay first you have to select the geometry and then click on the button select geo if you are not going to select the geo then it will throw an error here that you have to select the uh, geo uh, for projection i will go to to the front cam and uh, i can see it like if i go to the flat lighting mode what are the good areas where the projections are coming nicely like uh, here the stretching is happening so i will not uh, uh, want these areas to be projected and uh, same as here so i don't want to be the images to be projected here uh, better i will uh, collect some more images uh, and reference images for um, you know projection from the side angles or from the three fourth angles and so on so for the uh, front projection part uh, roughly i am uh, as i said for uh, this demonstration i am roughly selecting the faces select it properly because the mask is going to be generated according to the face selected so uh, better if you select uh, in a proper way that's my personal preference uh, just go to press 6 interjection projection window and select the faces and create the projection snapshot click it here the it will generate a shader and uh, it will assign that map to that shader uh, to the color map and it will project to the surface and if i select it here and go to the hyper shade window rendering hyper shade you can see it here this shader has been created so a, a texture has been created and the name of the shader will be a front 01 jpg projection mat so it is the same name as uh, you have given for the image name so you can understand how important is the naming of these image uh, images are so next thing i will go to the second uh, i will click on the second cam shot and don't forget to click on the uh, cam shots before projecting because it will take that camera and uh, and one more thing i want to share it will create the camera according to the position of the camera like uh, this time the camera is here so it will create a camera and again i will say roughly okay fine so that's cool just go to just see it here it will create a camera here i'll create projection so see another camera has been created so the num uh, it depends upon how many camera shots or how, uh, sorry it depends upon how many snapshots you take those many cameras it will create and uh, same it will create the shaders like that so because it is going to assign those shaders so anytime like if you uh, if you find that uh, anytime you miss some uh, areas where uh, the uh, like uh, i want to use this uh, left side camera uh, sorry cam shot and i want to assign these faces to that so i can select these faces and i can go to existing shader and this is the left side so i can give that shader to that face so if i'm uh, going to bake this map so i will get those uh, maps so you can see still i am in the projection mode i can tweak the model at any time uh, but i yeah now i can pick uh, pick the model at any time before projection also i can prepare my uh, model well first thing uh, what you have to do is now uh, set the value where you uh, uh, want like how much the width and height of the uh, the texture you want so for this demo purpose i am using uh, 512 by 512 to make it faster and uh, it will take the original images and it will bake the maps and if i click on the bake texture it will ask for the uh, location where you want to save i am currently i am saving the same example uh, file i want to save and uh, select folder so it will start generating those images So I'm pausing the video and uh, uh, till the process goes on. So I will come back. So now you can see all the color maps and the uh, alpha mask has been baked. 
I will open these files in Photoshop and uh, see uh, this is the front uh, the name of the file will be I mesh one the same image name then front and for the mask file it will be underscore uh, mask that has a mask here so here is the mask so like that you can apply mask uh, to the color maps and uh, align all the uh, big maps in one texture file and uh, finally you can generate your diffuse maps so anytime you can come back to Maya and uh, select any other cam shot and select the faces and you can uh, create a projection snapshot and start baking but keep it in note that you uh, cannot save the projection snapshot like save cam shots as I uh, discussed earlier so you have to plan it according to one go okay I want to discuss one more uh, important thing with you guys like uh, when you are planning to collect the reference images uh, at the first go like uh, launching the program you have to collect all the images at a time before launching the program if in the mid of the process you are adding more images to the folder the program tool will not uh, not get updated with the new images and uh, the camera positions too so plan it according to that before launching the program you have to collect all the images in an in the folder then launch the program and uh, while uh, the program tool is uh, uh, created the optimized and thumbnail folders do not delete any of the images from here otherwise these images uh, these uh, uh, thumbnails or the viewport uh, projection will be not get updated so be careful about it well that's it uh, as I know uh, maybe while explaining it may be not clear while uh, because English is not my first language but I tried my best to explain you about this tool and I hope uh, it will help you out so as you have seen program tool uh, really helps to fast up the process of the character creation workflow especially the heads you can use uh, for assets too or any props too if you have a proper uh, image uh, lined up and it uh, i hope it does the same with you and it uh, and uh, uh, it may may more robust and better in upcoming version so thank you